Yeah, hi all and welcome back to my channel. I got here a very important video for you guys. You should not skip here right now. I got here a very, very important video for you guys. I have found here a big problem, guys. I'm not kidding. And I'm very, very sure that this problem is not only on my PlayStation 4 Pro. I'm sure that this problem is everywhere or let's say on the most PlayStation 4, PlayStation 4 Pro, maybe also on some PlayStation 3, but whatever. I have you not just test some stuff for myself and I just want to share this with you guys that you know how you will fix this temperature issue. And see in the place to be and see issue. So I have here, like you already see or saw on my other videos, I have done here a lot of temperature tests with a lot of thermal pastes and all the tests and all the stuff. And I also had a lot of people that they was just writing me, hey, and see uh, how's going. And um, my PlayStation 4 was overheating, my fan was kicking louder, and I have just replaced the thermal paste, but somehow my PlayStation 4 is still overheating. I have now here found a big problem and I just need to share this with you guys so you can now fix it and you can uh, just, yeah, protect your PlayStation from, um, yeah, blue light of that or green light of that or red or light of that or <laughs> a rainbow light of that, I don't care. So I'm here just for you guys that you now can just handle it and that you guys can protect it and that you guys can be now on the safe side because if you just let it like it is, your PlayStation gonna die with the time. Okay, um, also the other thing is, also like you saw already on my other uh, videos, on my older videos, I have tests for myself, some uh, temperature tests uh, on uh, yeah, CPUs from computers. I got here, I got a non-Lepid uh, CPU heat spreader and I got here a Lepid CPU heat spreader. I'm going to show you now a difference that you guys just can see what I'm talking about. The other thing is also, I need to show you this all that you guys need to understand that all. Here I got a special tool which I can control the stuff if it's all in the line or not. So if something is just bended, you're going to have some lights under there because then you can see, ah, I got here some lights under there. That means that the stuff is really just not in the line. So that means here you need to take care. The other thing that I have found out on my chip self, it was, um, that's, that's how I have tested it also. Uh, somehow it's just shining a little bit red. I don't know if you can see that. Some kind of red. Um, just when I go over there, let me not just make the lights on, just then uh, you will not be able to see that. But sometimes when I just go here on the, on the, yeah, to the side, you can see now it has a strange red or rosa pinky color under there. That means the chip was already running hot. And I thought this was all okay and I thought, yeah, the temperature was okay. But I always have, fun, uh, have think about, hmm, I think some, something is strange. I think the temperatures could be a little bit more and sometimes I was needed to uh, turn the fan a little bit faster so that I had really great temperatures. But at last I can tell you one thing. We got here a problem, guys. Warning, we got here a problem. So, um, now, I just don't want to do this video so long. That's why I'm going to now begin to explain this all that you can understand what I mean. So here now that you guys can understand, I got here the lights on the background. I'm going to now just take here this CPU heat spreader. And I'm going to hold the tool here in the middle of this heat spreader. And then I'm going to turn it to the other side and I'm going to hold it again in the middle just that we can control if we have some lights under there or not. So I need to prepare myself now because this will be very difficult for me to record this. I, I, I need to take care that I will not shake. I need to take care on the focus. So, okay, let's begin. You can see now the lights. I need to also to hold maybe the heat spreader just like that under there. So stop shaking right now. Okay. Now I'm gonna put this here in the middle. All right. Can you see the lights under there? Try to see the lights under there in the middle. You can see that this heat spreader is yeah not bad now i'm going to turn it to this side and we're going to control it also on this side look at this can you see how much air we got can you see the lights under there and that means 
that we have air under there. So if you will apply here some new thermal paste, yeah, you're going to need a lot of pressure <laughs> that your cooling will really be very great. So I'm here now with the lapid the heat spreader again. Okay, okay, wait. So here this was the non-lapid. This is the lapid CPU heat spreader that I got. Now I'm going to try again. Let's turn this side to the left side. I'm going to hold it like that. And let's see that this will not fall down. Wait. So, this is now my Lapid CPU. You can see the most is closed. You see no lights under there. Maybe it's just a little bit on the left and on the right, but this doesn't matter because there the cooling is not important. The most important places is, of course, the center, the middle, on the heat spreader. Okay. Look at this. Try to focus, Alina. Yes. Look at this, guys. I'm not kidding, okay, guys. This is my APU. So this could really run way cooler if it will not be bended like that. I can also show you this. Uh, on the how it calls on the Cooper itself, and the Cooper really looks great, guys. Okay, here, Lina. hold it. Wait. Zoom. And focus. Okay. So the Cooper heatsink is really great. You can see no lights. Let's just do it like that a little bit for you guys that you can see the difference. I'm just pushing it to the right side. But when I'm holding it, it's just perfect. You can see the Cooper is nice. So this is not the fault of the Cooper. This is my APU, guys. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, um... I'm, I'm gonna do an extra video about that. I need to fix that stuff because I can see that this APU is just not in the line and uh, this is just shocking me. Alright guys, see ya. I don't know how I'm gonna show you this but I have notice, noticed it um, already a lot of times that my chip was some kind of wet, uh, so, so, so some kind of overheating. And sometimes I'm able to show you that it conforms how the lights are reflect reflecting, but this is like a red mirror because it was already overheating, guys. And I have tested here lots of thermal paste and all the stuff I was testing around till I saw that all the time when I was open my PlayStation 4, all the time I had the most pressure only in the middle. And uh, we can close this together one time. Let's go here, a casa. Just this thermal paste here is very thin and very smooth. It's good to test uh, that kind of stuff here. So I can just apply here a little bit and then we're gonna close it one time and then we're gonna fix and, and close the clamp. Can, you, you can see that, huh? Some kind of wet. Okay, that means this is a sign that it was overheating already.
Solving here. Okay. Oh yes, we can see that really perfectly right now. So here, this is the best proof guys. We have a problem. Autofocus again not working. Maybe I'm gonna stop the video again and work it again. Samsung Galaxy S10 just stupid sometimes. Here we go. Now look at this. We have just pressure in the middle guys. We have just here pressure guys. I'm gonna hold still and I'm gonna show you this now on my video. I'm gonna do here a small call out that you guys can see. We have just here a real contact. Oh my god. And then you are wondering why your PlayStation is still overheating? <laughs> oh my god. What a shame. Here, check the cooler. The same thing. Like I told guys, you have you now two options. The first option is you lap it here a little bit down, then of course the APU will get here a better place and more, uh, yeah, how it calls, more contact with the Cooper cooler. In this fact, or in this case, it's not the cooler that has problems because I have tested already with my tool. But the APU is just making like a hill. Okay, the APU is just not in the line. And that's why I don't know how to do that, but I'm going to try my best and then I'm going to record again. So for now, I will let this thermal paste here, just that I can control it myself later again. And I think I'm going to risk to lap the APU in the middle a little bit, just a little bit. Okay, um, yeah, let me pause, I'm going to do my work. So guys, um, as you can see, I have not just lap it here in the middle. And you can see that really great. Let me just take the lights a little bit more up. So I have lapid here in the middle. I hope you can see that. You got here like a circle in the middle. I have just lapid. And um, all around there you can see, still see the color from the liquid metal thermal paste. But here inside I have just lapid with 1000 sun paper. Just easy and slowly. And yeah. I have liked also the APU, if you believe or not. I have lapped the APU a little bit and I'm going to close it right now. I'm going to do a test and wait, let me just hold it very great for you guys. Yeah guys, I know I'm crazy, but tell me something new. So, here you can see that I have lapped it a little bit and see that? difficult to record and here you can see that also see that I have lapped it a little bit here not that much and also here on the end you can see I have lapped it I have begun in the middle and then I get bigger and bigger and bigger and now uh, I'm going to just let it all like this and uh, we're going to do together a test. And it not needs to be perfect but it should be better to, as it was before. So <clears throat> again some camel paste. You need to take care how much you lap here. You need to have a, a, the fillings for, you need to have the fillings for, otherwise you're going to lap here too much and then you're going to destroy your chip. So you better don't do it.
So guys, I have left it again. Let's open it again. This is taking so much time all the days. Look now. Hmm? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Look at this now. Way more pressure, guys. I'm on the good way. Finally. So much time, guys. Really. Okay, can you see that? We got here a lot of pressure in the middle. Wow, look at this. Okay. God, thanks. Oh my god, so much work. I can't believe, really not. Okay, I'm gonna do and uh, keep doing my work. Like you see, a lot of work. Already two hours passed. I know in the video not. <laughs> now I'm gonna clean this all again here. And yes, what should I say? It's all about testing, all about fixing, all about lapping. Oh my god, really guys, I'm still can't believe that Sony makes that. Alright, let's keep lapping it. So guys, and again, lap it a little bit more. Let's test it. It was just closed again. Let's hope for the best. And I think I'm gonna not lap it anymore, just to be sure. Because I need first to do a test if all is really working still. Otherwise, I'm working here just for nothing. What a pain in the ass. But I'm, I'm really happy that I have solved this problem. So, in future, I'm going to control that on all the PlayStation. I can't even trust them anymore, really. I'm not trusting them anymore. I can't trust Sony anymore. So sad to say that, you know, because normally this company is really great, but I can't trust them anymore. Come on. Now let's hope for the best. And let's see how it gets. Oh my god, way better. Yes, guys, it begins really to get great. Look at this. See, now I have there a little bit more pressure, but yeah, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm on a good way here, Le look. Now we got all around here, we got pressure. You can see it really great. All around here we got pressure. So now I'm going to begin to lap it here a little bit more, and maybe there a little bit more, but we are soon finished. This is a big difference, guys. A big difference as it was before. <laughs> oh my god, I'm so happy. So here, yeah, you can see that also. Nice. Now that means for me I'm gonna work slowly and I'm gonna just lap it here around a little bit more and then I'm gonna let it. I'm gonna let it because uh, it's way better as it was before, you know, so Okay, go and keep doing my work And yes, um, the great thing is also metal, uh, liquid metal You could uh, repair some stuff if just something is going wrong here You can be able to repair some stuff with a liquid metal thermal paste if you have maybe just lap it too much you could uh, fix it with liquid metal thermal paste with the time it gets hard and then you could uh, be able to yeah, fix some more stuff and repair if you just have left too much otherwise you can also go and buy uh, another Cooper cooler you just go and buy let's say um, a broken PlayStation 4 use it broken on eBay and then uh, yeah you can get you again the cooler
I'm just going to open all the time and close it all the time and test it all the time. Yes, I'm going to let it like it is right now. I'm going to not change anything. That's what I have thought. I'm going to not change anything. You can see how much I have lapped it right now. I'm going to not change anything. This will be like that and it will stay like that. And here we go. You can see, this is the best proof we have it already. And I'm going to let it like that. The rest will come from alone. I'm really, really happy. It's way better than it was before. And this is for me the most important. And I'm going to try it later, test it later. And really guys, I'm very, very happy right now. <laughs> Yeah, I'm going to build this all together right now because I'm getting very, very tired. And here again, take a look. We have the most here now. Um, yeah, with a lot of pressure. Yes. <laughs> oh my God, I just love it. Yeah, I'm going to build it all together. I'm not sure if I'm going to apply again <laughs> liquid metal. <laughs> but all the work will be just for nothing. If I just now apply liquid metal, all the work will be for nothing. Because you can see how I have lapped the chip. And also under the light it looks great. I have tested also with this one here. I have still a little, little, little small hill. But not that much as it was before. Let me try if I'm going to be able to show you that. Wait. Maybe like that. Give me a second, guys. And I need to focus. So, guys. Just a second. Yeah, you can see I got still a little bit, but hey, look. Let me just disable the lights. Skip back the video and watch the difference. Just skip back the video, guys, and watch the difference. You can see it's way better than before. And I have done the rest on my cooler. All the rest I have done on my Cooper cooler, okay? Because I just don't want to lap too much on the APU. It can be danger. If you just lap too much on the APU, you're going to destroy the APU or CPU or whatever. If you just lap here too much, guys, you're going to destroy it. Okay, and that's why I just don't want it. And that's also the reason why I will not apply uh, liquid metal thermal paste. Because maybe I'm already very deep and I just want to protect my chip. So, yeah, I think I'm going to go uh, for Cooler Master and uh, because I just also want to stop all the time to open this PlayStation close, open and close. This is just not good for the screws and for all the rest, you know. I'm going to let it just like this right now and um, I'm very happy with the results and you should check Please check your PlayStation, guys, because maybe, what maybe, I'm sure 
you have the same problem. I'm pretty sure you have the same problem. If you still have overheating problems and um, if you have already changed the thermal paste um, then I'm pretty sure you really have the same problems guys. Okay, I'm going to do all my work, I'm going to close this all and then, um, yeah, I'm going to start the PlayStation and I'm going to pray, or I will pray that all is still working and uh, I have done this long, long time ago also on another CPU, so um, I have the feelings for that, so I know when it's too much and um, I know when it gets risky. So guys, I'm finished, I have just pulled all together and I just hope for myself that this is going to work all because yeah this was a real big operation so yeah wish me luck I hope this is going to work come on hmm? yes god thanks <laughs> yeah but hey take care guys you better do not that what I have done right now the fan is very very slow from the last test I have turned the fan very very slow to the slowest here like I told for the people that doesn't know here a fan accelerator and I have had for the last test the fan on very low and we are here now on 36 degrees I think room temperature should be about I don't know uh, 25 degrees, 24. Let me get my tree pot here on. So, all right. Let's get it here inside, and I'm gonna do an extra video, just about the temperatures, and also with um, with the cooler master. So wait here. And yeah, um, of course the temperatures now will be way better as before but this has nothing to do uh, because cooler master okay um, this has just only to do about the great pressure that we have already so just a second uh, we are here nearly on 26 degrees room temperature hope you guys can see that here it's hotter as on the last days before 26 degrees room temperature and yeah I'm going to do here my tests for myself and uh, as I know my work this should be now very very great and uh, you have saw how small the the contact was to the cooler and uh, this was really a shame guys really and I was just shocked because I was opening this PlayStation now about I don't know <laughs> three, four, five times in the last days just uh, for do my tests and yeah, some way I just recognize hey, what the hell is going on here such a small place all the time and I was just really getting frustrated and all the time that I have opened it all the time I was thinking about hey, something is going wrong here so, and um, here maybe again for the video uh, just a small that you guys can see again what I mean so you need to imagine the um, chip on the PlayStation 4 is about this size here maybe not that perfectly as I'm just trying to paint here but just imagine this is the chip from the PlayStation 4 Pro and I just had about this pressure okay or something like yeah here just keep this video back and you wanna see the pressure that I had and I was always wondering myself hey can that be really true and so I have now finally found a big problem you guys please watch yourself and control it please and do a video for me or just um, yeah I don't know just confirm that this is really your problem too, okay? Go around here, take a special tool, 
I'm going to post in the YouTube description how this calls. And I can see already right now, <laughs> um, the PlayStation is on 43 degrees. The last days where I have done this with the fan on lowest, um, this was way hotter. I'm on lowest, yes? Yeah, it should be on lowest. But I'm going to, I'm going to also um, make it a ventilator off. I think I was on lowest. I'm not sure, but I'm really now turning to the left side and uh, it looks good for the temperatures because we have here 26 degrees room temperature and you always need to calculate that okay and I'm gonna do some more tests on the next video because this is not just a video um, that yeah where I have just explain you guys what's going on here and that's really not that great let me not just turn on my ventilator here this fan now is really turning very very slow because this is a PlayStation 3 fan and when I set the PlayStation 3 fan on the lowest this means that it's really way lower as the PlayStation 4 fan which you can see here okay this fan here is way way lower as uh, the PlayStation 4 fan okay so that's why you need to know that guys if you have a fan adjuster a fan accelerator and if you have done a crazy thing like me with a PlayStation 3 fan, um, this is gonna be how it calls very very low. Okay, normally you should set it a little bit higher, but this is not just for me for my test because I know it is already working better. I'm gonna let it for me for myself. I'm gonna let it on, and later I'm gonna do again a video. And 50 degrees for now is just perfectly because, like I told, um, I was here on nearly in the same time that I was. Here waiting now I was on about 64 degrees in the last days I was testing it for me and this was really yeah that was really hard and now even today it's way hotter here in my room it's now about 26 degrees room temperature and uh, the thing that I just wanted to show you is this one okay this is very important that you need to know I had just about a small place uh, pressure and all the rest here wait all here, where uh, yeah, now it's painting. All about here had no uh, cooling. It had no contact to the Cooper cooling, to the Cooper heatsink. You understand? And now I have about, as I have saw it, it was about there and here. I think about that. Okay, so now I got all the way there, something like that. I think it goes more on the side. I have now cooling and better pressure so of course it will now run cooler if you guys have some problems that the fan is turning uh, higher then you should really go and test it for you uh, for yourself for the people that will do that please confirm and watch out your APU watch out your uh, Cooper cooler but in my eyes I think the the cool itself the heatsink will be straight the heatsink will be okay. I think you got the same problem guys. So please check this out, confirm that. And for now I'm gonna just let it run with, yeah, this uh, fan speed maybe a little bit faster because this is just too slow and I don't like it anymore because I saw that my chip was already overheating and that's why I just don't like it, you know. So here I'm gonna just turn it a little bit higher and uh, wait. Yeah, now you can hear it finally. I'm gonna let it like that and then I will wake up again soon. And uh, I hope you guys happy with that, what I have found out. And this is really a big problem, guys. And look, it's still getting down because the fan is uh, a little bit faster. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have not the best results ever. But this and more I'm gonna show you on the next videos. So stay tuned on my channel, I'm gonna compare with the lowest fan speed, just like I did that on the other videos, we're going to compare that 5 minutes long with the lowest fan speed, and then we're going to start the game also with the lowest fan speed, and then we're going to see at which temperature it will kick the fan higher automatically again. Uh, okay, and uh, yeah, I think this will be a very informative video too, but for now I'm finished, I'm over, my hands are tired, my fingers are tired, 
and uh, look at this temperatures it's getting down already and like I told 26 degrees room temperature it's today the hottest day uh, which I am also testing the stuff here okay and sorry for my kiddies on the background they're all playing around and sometimes it gets a little bit louder but yeah you need to understand that you know so there are kiddies and it's just normal look at the temperatures take care uh, 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 listen to the fan really not that loud and um, that's for me this is just okay guys okay I wish you the best stay tuned on my channel thumbs up subscribe and feel free to comment if you like this and more I'm just happy that I have found out this problem for you guys like I told if you have applied your new thermal paste and your fans just still kicking higher you know now what is the problem okay guys see ya soon that was me NSC in the place to be <laughs> bye bye a lot of work oh my god <laughs> but it was worth it. see ya guys NC in the place to be NC